Hello again! Welcome to the last uh, video for this week of quick tips for the clarinet. Today, actually what I'm going to be talking about is not specific to the clarinet. Um, I'm going to be discussing just some general tips to make your practice more efficient. These are things that I've picked up through research about efficient practicing and also just from my own experience being a very busy musician. Uh, like we all are, whether that's in school or out of school, still trying to make time to practice regularly. So I'm just going to go through a few um, bullet points of things that I find really helpful. Some of them might sound obvious, but some of them you might um, not have thought about in this way, and hopefully um, you'll incorporate them into the way you structure your practices, and they'll really help you um, make your time as efficient as possible in the practice room. All right, my first piece of advice is to, if you don't already have one, buy a metronome tuner and not just use your phone. Um, I think it's really important to limit the distractions we have in the practice room. I'm definitely guilty of sometimes using my phone as a metronome, uh, especially like if my batteries are dead in my metronome, and I always find that I'll get a notification for like a text message or Facebook or something and then you know 10 minutes later you're scrolling on your phone and not practicing so I think um, it's important to limit um, unnecessary technology and other distractions while we're in the practice room. Um, next little tidbit is to spend the most time of your practice on what you are least familiar with. This also might sound obvious um, but it's not always how we do things. I am always tempted to spend a lot of time reviewing things that I'm good at because it makes you more comfortable to play music that you're familiar with and that you sound good, Where when really we should be spending most of our efforts on what we don't sound good on so we can improve it. On that note, there are studies that show that um, during a time of anything, whether it's a lecture that you're listening to <clears throat> or a practice session, your brain retains the most information from the beginning and from the end. <clears throat> and so, when I practice, I like to use the beginning and the end of the practice session to focus on things that are very, very new to me and use the middle to review, do run-throughs, and play through stuff that I already know. Um, that way I know my brain is absorbing that new information as efficiently as possible. Um, along that same uh, line of thought, it is important to take breaks when you practice. If you're in the practice room playing nonstop for three hours, you are going to physically and mentally wear yourself out. So taking frequent breaks, a good rule of thumb is 10 minutes of mental and physical rest for every hour of practicing can help you chunk up the practice and make sure that your brain is retaining the information at the outer ends of that session um, best and that you're giving your, your mind and your body time to rest so that you can focus as good as you can. Um, something else that I find really useful is to take notes when you practice. This can be what you practice on, um, what you need to work on next time, what you accomplished, uh, metronome markings, all kinds of things like that. Uh, there are lots of studies that show that taking handwritten notes improves your memory and helps you retain information better. So I try to keep a practice journal and and write down notes from every practice session um, every day. Uh, there are two books that I would highly recommend if you're interested in learning more about um, practicing efficiently or uh, just general mental and physical health for musicians. Uh, the first is Daniel Coyle's The Talent Code. This is a book I've read a few times and I always highly recommend it. The second is Vanessa Cornett's The Mindful Musician, which focuses mostly on um, health um, in all types, like mental, physical, emotional health for musicians and also uh, the book goes over some of the things I talked about today, like how to make your, your practice uh, the most efficient. I hope this video is helpful. These are all things that I really find help me in my own practice, and I hope they help you too. Thanks for tuning in this week, and uh, make sure to check back next week for um, our next 
Musician in the Quintet series of videos. Thanks so much!